guys, Tim here. Super excited to put together a video series for you on Meraki Network Access Control. In a Meraki Network, we can simply identify who are our users and build policies as to what they can access. So if I bring in my personal iPad, I should only be able to access the internet. My corporate laptop should have full access to internal resources. The requirements would first be a RADIUS server. It could be server 2012. It could be a Cisco Identity Services engine or potentially like a free RADIUS server. The second requirement would be a Meraki network. So it could be the full stack or we could choose uh, an AP or firewall or maybe an AP and or a switch. So for wireless network access control, I see two typical scenarios. First is device-based authentication or control. So the device would connect to the network via 802.1x. We would determine what type of device it is, and based upon that device, we would apply a control. The second would be user control. So we'd successfully authenticate with 802.1x. We'd determine who is the user, and then we'd apply controls to that user. How we control traffic is through Meraki group policies. In the group policy, we can create layer three, layer four rules, potentially application-based rules. So eliminate ESPN streaming, or Facebook or YouTube, things like that. We can apply uh, controls like QoS, VLAN tag, etc. On the wired side, the two common scenarios that I see, first would be IP-based filtering. So a user would successfully authenticate to the network with 802.1x. We'd apply a VLAN tag to that user, putting them in either the HR VLAN or the IT VLAN. And then third, we would apply the IP-based filter control on the switch. So we could create a rule that said HR subnets cannot talk to IT subnets and vice versa. The second would be firewall filtering controls. So the user would log into the network via 802.1x. They would be applied, they would be given a VLAN tag, and then the control would be applied at the firewall level. So we could leverage group policies at the firewall where we could stitch in IPS, IDS, layer seven controls, uh, potentially QoS policy and things like that. So hopefully this overview video has been informative. I encourage you to check out videos two and three. Those walk through how to actually configure and test network access control on a Meraki network.